got our one man over here. Thank you for coming.
Thank you. All right. My name is Ross. I play guitar. The name of audience of one. They, the name of the band is R Cubed. On bass, we have Ron Sotelo, Santa Cruz, California. On drums, we have Rick Allegria, San Jose, California. My name is Russ Pettit. I'm waving at people that aren't even there. Now, uh, I'm from San Lorenzo, California. Um, you got anything to say, Rick? You usually do. What, what's the next song? It's Ron's. This is a tune entitled yeah, Silent Scene, written by, and written by our bass player, Ron Sotelo. That's what, that's what I was going to say.
Well, while um, while they're tuning, who who is our audience? Josue. It's post post Josue. Yeah. Josue is our audience for tonight. Let's, um, let me hear you. Let, let me hear the audience. That's Josue. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Josue. All right. If we had to have one guy. We had to have only one guy. It would be Josue. It right. would be Josue. We got a couple more coming down. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> what is the next? Oh, okay. Dark Alley. Dark Alley. This is actually a song that we uh, actually put all together. We put it all together ourselves. We kind of were jamming, and it just.
All right, we're going to play our ballad tune, our little, our little ballad tune now. Our little uh, nursery rhyme song.
we got one more last song for you guys. So it's tune entitled A Bright New Day. This is actually a song Josue requested. Yeah. Requested. All right, Josue. Your favorite song. <laughs>
my famous or my favorite band leaders would used to say, "Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful." When anybody old enough to uh, enjoy that, <laughs> it's in AARP. Guys, uh, let's come down and just sit down here, and we'll talk a little bit. Uh, well, I hope everybody enjoyed that. R cubed. Their contact information has been up. It will be up again. It'll be in the closing credits. So if you'd like to get a hold of them, why don't you do that? And uh, first thing I always have to do at this point is thank my crew. I've got quite a few new people uh, this time on the show. My steadfast regulars all have other things going on, and I do like to get new people in on my crew usually only one at a time. Tonight we've got a couple, and they're doing a great job. So I uh, really appreciate that. And as I say, without, without my crew, I wouldn't be a big TV star. That's the way it is. And as most of you know, they don't get paid. I'm too damn cheap. They could be musicians. They could be musicians and, <laughs> and, and, and double their income, right? I guess they don't have to carry things in. I guess that's part of it. That's, 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 well, there is an advantage. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. So that said, thanks, crew. Thanks for coming in. Viewers, thank you for watching. Those of you who watch fairly regularly, I really appreciate that. Get the word out. Uh, first and third Friday, 10 p.m. on Saturday nights are the reruns. And... Uh, Put that streaming cred uh, lower third up because we stream out to the Internet and so everybody in the world can watch what we're doing here. And we do have people viewing uh, on the Internet and uh, so you can advise your friends. Uh, David, can you put that st uh, the uh, streaming uh, lower third up? See, we're a real professional here. We're so slick. We get everything done. Oh, it's... it's it's, he just wants, me, wants you to contact me. That's all right, too. If you want to be on the show, contact me. you got something to say. You don't have to be a musician. Come in. You know, I'll put you on if you want to, you know, scream about the garbage man making too much noise when you've got a hangover or whatever. Uh, if you've got some great poetry that you read, uh, love to have you come on. If you've written a book, want to read a chapter, I'll put you on for a few minutes, promote it. Uh, the whole point is it's your station. I want you to get use out of it. Mostly we have musicians, and that's fine by me because I love music, and I like to uh, have uh, musicians come in and get a little uh, video put together, and hopefully do a, we'll do a good enough job that they'll have something worthwhile. Okay, let me start over uh, with Ron. I think you're the leader of the band, or at least you were my contact. How long have you been together? Uh, well, this band's been together, well, Russ and I have been playing for over three years, maybe maybe close to four, uh, in different incarnations of the band, and uh, Rick's been playing for about a year, a year and a half now with us. And Some, some, like, that. some like that, yeah. I mean. All right. And, and so you're, you guys are playing with other groups also? Is that happening, or are you pretty much yeah. sticking with this? Yeah, we play, we all play in different yeah. projects yeah. and do different things, yeah. and... Uh, um, yeah. That seems. That, that seems to me. I don't know. You know. I don't know what to say. You know. No. What do you say? No. It seems pretty. It seems pretty typical because it's music is not something. You know, unless you're really lucky. You know, you don't even have to be good. Just be really lucky. You get paying. Well, you get to a paying gig and you keep everybody together. Other, we all play gigs that pay money. This obviously doesn't. Yeah. You know, at this point, although we have you know, grand designs to make it yeah. so, but, uh, you know, no vocal, no dancing, can't clap your it's hands, tough. you know, it's very tough, you yeah. know. So we all play in different situations, uh, you know, dance bands, uh, mm -hmm. whoever, you yeah. know. Yeah, that's good. No. Teach, we all, te you know, we all teach, we all, you know. You have real jobs? Well, you know, I was going to ask you, you know, I mean, <laughs> is, is that allowed in Santa Cruz? Aren't I supposed to come over your house and mow your lawn? This yeah, year? you. Oh, you got that. You got that. You got that email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. And, and, I and thank you too. You're really supporting the music. Oh uh, well, <laughs> since I can't play and I have a tin ear, and the only thing I do is listen, uh, I do what I can. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Richard. It's a Glad great service you're providing the community. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Your uh, your perspective. 
Uh, you know, in the beginning. Not, not too out there, you know. You just needed me back there when you wanted to lay your, your joke down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little drummer. You needed that. You needed me back there right. next, next I, time. I need a house band. Next time. Yeah. You do need a band. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Um, let, let, we're available. <laughs> okay. All right. Russ, Russ, let me get a few words from you. And, uh, and, uh, how long have you been playing? How long have you been playing? Uh, let's see. I've been playing for 25, 26 years. Yeah. What got you started? Uh, my parents used to take me to concerts when I was a kid. Lucky, good, good, good. Who in Zeppelin in 1973? Yeah. Wow. Saw Poco Harum and uh, all kinds of bands back then. My parents were kind of into that. And how about how about this group? It's, this looks like you're having a lot of fun with this. Yeah, I see that. This is the this is this is yeah. This is great because you know I play with other bands. And I teach guitar at Guitar Showcase in San Jose. And you teach it. Drums at Guitar Showcase in San Jose. And uh, this uh, gives me, you know, I get to be, because a lot of the songs, like we created the one, one of the songs we played, uh, Ron wrote, and one of the, a lot of the songs, you know, I, I start with me and some of the parts that I come up with, and then I bring it into the band, and we kind of all go over them. So it's a place for me to express myself. And good, good, good. myself as a musician. That's kind of good. Uh, formal training? Uh, no, I, I went to Las Madonnas College and did like the jazz band there and studied with Joe Satriani for a little bit. And then uh, that's about it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Formal training? I went to state and went down to um, L.A. and graduated from uh, Dick Grove, which is uh, not any longer, but has uh, kind of split up and became different schools. But... You'll, you'll notice I'll go mm -hmm, a lot as if I really yeah. know what she's... Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, I remember that one. I went to, to school, but you know, uh, you know, I always thought the real musicians are out gigging. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. So it's hard to finish, you know, uh, you know, beginning golf, you know, and uh, English 101 or whatever it was while you're out playing, you know. I just noticed that. But, but I did. I, I graduated down there. And... I ask that because I'm amazed at how many people are self-taught. You know, and that's I mean, the largest part of it. Yeah. How, about, how about you? Formal training? Uh, well, I did uh, some uh, training at uh, Gavilan uh, College in Gilroy. And I also, like uh, Rick, moved to L.A. for a uh, time and graduated from the Musicians Institute, which is uh, still there, and it's, uh, it's a pretty big uh, uh, music school now. Um, studied under, um, lucky enough to study under uh, two of the top uh, world-class uh, jazz electric bass players uh, Gary Willis and Jeff Berlin although I probably don't play anything like them but uh, I like to think that I do you know hey you got to think well of yourself that's that's the first thing you got to have confidence and that. I, that's that's what I believe that's what I believe um, I mean I have to have a lot of confidence to get up here because <laughs> <laughs> I have no training on any of this <laughs> and uh, uh, um, so we just early on we we mentioned you you're in a genre that's not uh, widely listened to or, or or it's not in vogue right now, but you play with a lot of different bands. Um, is is this kind of if if they're, everything's equal? Is this kind of the music though is that you really get into, or it's just it, or you just split yourself evenly between another? Uh, no, this is definitely. Um, I like to challenge myself as a player always in writing. <clears throat> instead of you know, I like to write my own tunes that challenge myself. So this kind of a situation is like that, where playing Brick House or Brown Eyed Girl or those songs, which are great songs, but after you've played them about 150, 200 times, it's time to move on to other things. Or or a million other bands that that play those songs so that are, yeah, they're just oversaturated. Like if we were if we were in Europe, we'd be rock stars playing this music. Yeah. Because it's it's widely uh, accepted in in Europe, but here no, there's a very very small audience. Yeah, I understand. There's there's still there's still jazz aficionados. Yeah, yeah. I I I like playing. I like I I truly like everything. Yeah. I yeah. truly like everything. I, I, uh, I understand. And I and I like playing this because it, it it helps me to grow as a musician. That's what I'm. That's what I'm ultimately interested in is 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 becoming a better musician. But I really do. Um, appreciate um, all the other genres of music, you know, and I can uh, I can appreciate uh, you know orchestra, you know, classical music, 
You know, uh, San Francisco Chamber Orchestra is one of my favorite concerts I went to recently. It has no drums. Yeah. It, it is. Well, I can appreciate it. it, it I've, I've just been watching uh, Jazz, the uh, uh, PBS series, uh, uh, Ken Burns. Oh, and, yeah. and it was interesting. It was two things. We're almost at the end of the show. One, uh, one of the comments they made with Charlie Parker, uh, his favorite was Stravinsky. And I forget the the piece that he liked. Okay, this is Charlie Parker. Okay, oh, yeah. classical. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the other thing they mentioned the evolution of jazz and how the bands in that would get frustrated because they become popular. Musicians would become popular. People wanted to play the same thing. They want to grow. They want to. Yeah, they they want to go on. It's the, so it's the same thing. Good. Right? We're kind of in that. All right. right. Yeah. We are in that. We are in that slot right now. We're trying to move on to some, a new a new type of music that's not, you know, popular right now. All right. I think I think we're just about off the air here. So I'm going to wrap. The Democratic Women's Club is the largest Democratic club in Santa Cruz County, working to support Democratic principles elect Democrats to public office, and promote citizen involvement. We've been active for over 50 years with hundreds of members and volunteers, and we invite you to join us. The Democratic Women's Club is not limited to women. The club has a long history of involving men as well as women and people of all ages. The club holds meetings throughout the year with prominent speakers on local, state, and national issues. Recent speakers include Santa Cruz Mayor Ryan Coonerty, providing insights on local government. State Senator Joe Simidian highlighting new environmental protection laws, and Superior Court Judge Ari Simons describing the work of our local courts and judges. Upcoming events include a talk by County Supervisor and Coastal Commissioner Mark Stone describing the